conjunctions. You mean Marvin and I use conjunctions in our conversation? Yes, you did, and I must say you use them very well. Great. So, uh, what are conjunctions again? Okay, so we don't really know what conjunctions are, but I have heard the word conjunction before. There, you just used one, but we'll come to that later. Now, boys, conjunctions are words that are used to join phrases or sentences together. Oh. Now, let's try an example so you can see what I mean. Okay, go ahead. I'll give you two sentences and I want you to join them with a conjunction. Ready? Gus is intelligent. Gus is resourceful. Hey, thanks for the compliment. I always knew I had it in me. That's not what I meant, Gus. I want you to join these two sentences with a conjunction. Ooh, sorry. Rather presumptuous of me. Okay. Gus is intelligent. Gus is resourceful. So we have two sentences that describe similar ca characteristics about Gus. So if we join them... Oh, I got it! Gus is intelligent and resourceful. Uh, Very good. So and is the conjunction. That is right. Now, let's look at the conversation that the two of you had earlier and let's see if you can spot the conjunction. Wait, I think my combine can generate a visual review of our conversation. I miss wow. Lena and Zurida. Oh, well, that's easy. Instead of saying, I miss Lena, I miss the reader, Gus just joined the two sentences with the conjunction and. Correct. Now, Mr. Resourceful, let's see if you can spot the conjunction in Marvin's sentence. Yeah. You know, it's because of them that we're here and not in America right now. I think because is the conjunction, but I don't know why. Yes, the conjunction is because. It shows reason. Oh, meaning that Lena and Zurida going to America is the reason why Marvin and I aren't on that trip. They were chosen instead of us. Correct. Are you disappointed that you didn't get to go? Well, uh, well, I, a little bit, but Gus and I can't win them all. Lena and Zurida could speak a foreign language, French, yeah. which we don't. That's one of the reasons why we weren't selected. You know, boys, it's all right to feel disappointed. After all, you're only human. <sighs> Okay, so um, I presume Gus and I used more conjunctions? Yes, you did. You know, I wanted to go on that trip more than anything else. However, I'm glad that it was well, Lena and Zurida who got the chance. Well, here the two sentences are quite the opposite. I wanted to go on that trip, but I was also glad that it was Lena and Zurida who went instead. Now, so what is the conjunction here that links those two sentences? However... Well done. So you see boys, conjunctions are also used to join sentences that shows contrast or are opposite. Oh. So that means that but is also a conjunction, right? Now, here are a few more conjunctions that the two of you used. You know, I'm only going to laugh if it's really ridiculous. Conjunctions can also be used to indicate condition or a rule. Hmm. Marvin was laying down the condition that he would only laugh if my idea was ridiculous. Very good. And here is another conjunction. Oh, 
Although you're going to say it's ridiculous, I'm going to tell you. Ah, so, although would be the conjunction, but what is its function? Although indicates concession. Although I knew Marvin was going to laugh at my idea, I still wanted him to know what it was. That is right. You have just seen a few conjunctions used by Gus and Marvin in this episode. Let's recall them. And. Because. However. But. Unless. Now, here are a few more conjunctions. You may have used them, but if you haven't, perhaps it's time you started using them in your sentences. Since. If. Even though. Until. Or. Also. As well as. So that. Remember. The more you use the language, the better you will be in it. See you next time. So boys, are you ready for today's lesson? Yes. Let me get our screen going. Right, if you remember the last time we studied conjunctions, today we shall look at prepositions. I know prepositions. They are words used together with nouns and pronouns. Quite right. In fact, prepositions are words that help nouns, pronouns, verbs and even adjectives relate to an object. Wow! Well, let's see what Gus said to you as an example. I only got 13 out of 20 correct. <laughs> well, here the preposition is out of because it links the noun 13 to the object 20 questions. That is right. But Aunt Mabel, uh, out of is two words. Does that mean that a preposition can be more than one word? Yes, it can. It could be one, two, or even three words sometimes. Oh. So let's look at this example. There were four people standing in front of Jessica. Standing is the verb relating to Jessica, the object. So the preposition connecting the two should be in front of. Oh, yeah, there's a preposition with three words. Great, now you see it. I am sure you'll be able to easily identify the prepositions in the next few sentences. That makes the two of us. <laughs> of, because it relates the noun to to the pronoun us. It's true, practice makes perfect. Tell us some more. Did you hear that oh. Lena and Zurida are coming back on Sunday? On is the preposition, also indicating time on Sunday. Very good, gentlemen. As you've seen, prepositions are some of the most common types of building blocks to form sentences. That's because they connect verbs, nouns, pronouns and adjectives to other words. Let's try and recap some of the prepositions that we learned in our earlier lessons. We've got to, out of, in front of, with, at, since, from, on. Guess we should try making our own sentences with the prepositions we just learned. And here are a few more prepositions, many of which I'm sure you will be familiar with. 
until, after, before, during, within, across, so that. As I have said before, the more you use a language, the better you will be in it. See you again next time.